no doubt cats are really territorial and they see you as part of their territory. Cats consider you to be a member of their domain. They're easily attached to humans, not only for the bond it creates, but also because of their survival instinct, depicting their owners as a giant protector. Let's be sincere. Everybody has a demanding schedule that they juggle between job and personal life. Thus, there will be instances when you must leave your cat alone. If you have just one indoor cat, there's a considerable possibility it will become bored eventually, and a bored cat eventually becomes lonely. Here are 20 signs of a lonely cat to watch out for. Number one, excessive self-grooming. Excessive grooming that results in bald spots and vomiting can be related to stress. If you are gone for long hours during the day, loneliness is a likely stressor. Some cats will overgroom whenever they experience physical or mental stress. If your cat is prone to excess licking, it may be a sign they are in need of more attention. Similar to unwanted urination, it is important to have a vet determine if there are first any underlying illnesses or if it is associated with a behavioral issue. Number two, constant meowing. Cats meow for a huge amount of reasons, but if they keep mewing and it sounds quite low pitched, it will almost sound like he or she is in pain. Cats can excessively meow for several reasons, one of them being loneliness. Non-stop meowing is often the form of crying for attention and telling you that they are lonely. Number three, sleeping. But just like for humans, boredom can spark the blues in cats, and that can lead to more naps. So if you notice your cat sleeping more than usual or reduce their level of engagement during playtime, it could be a sign of loneliness. Boredom can also cause your usually active kitty to become withdrawn or sluggish. And without you there, your home isn't very exciting to your cat. In addition, if cats experience stress or anxiety while being alone, it may prompt them to isolate themselves or ignore their owners, deepening a lack of engagement. Number four, destructive behavior. If your cat goes to the bathroom outside of the litter box while you are out of the house, this might be another sign loneliness is creeping in. Cats often exhibit negative feelings like stress or loneliness with destructive behavior, especially when they are understimulated or left alone for long periods of time. Number five, lethargy. Depression drains the energy of even the most energetic creature. For lonely cats, if they go from boundless energy one day to morose wandering where they refuse to so much as blink at their usual favorite games, there's a chance that they're upset about something. Sudden lethargy also rolls neatly into another sign to watch for. If your cat is suddenly sleeping more than usual, it might be because there is nothing else for them to do. Number six, litter box problems. Peeing outside the litter box can either be a health or behavioral problem. If you've ruled out a medical issue like kidney stones or a urinary tract infection, you can bet that the problem is rooted in stress. Cats can become stressed out for all kinds of reasons, including loneliness and boredom. Number seven, becoming clingy. When your cat becomes overly attached to you, following you wherever you go and always lying by your side, it can be a clear sign that it doesn't feel too well emotionally. Your cat probably feels lonely and needs more interaction with you. Separation anxiety is a real concern that many pets exhibit at one point in their lives, and they may show extremely needy and clingy behavior. You can solve this behavior by providing your cat with plenty of activities for when it's alone. Place food puzzles around the house to mimic their hunting instinct. Leave out an abundance of toys and provide them with perches to look outside. Number seven, loss of appetite. Another way to tell if your cat is feeling lonely is that they won't come close to their food like usual. If you do find yourself leaving your cat alone and they are not eating, they could be lonely. Now, if you are unsure or you feel that your cat could potentially be ill, always take them to the vet because there could indeed be an underlying health problem that needs to be sorted out. Number eight, hiding. Cats often seek solitude when they're feeling lonely. If your cat spends more time hiding under furniture or in secluded spots, it could be a sign of loneliness. Number nine does not find joy in playing. Sad cats aren't going to find their favorite toys much fun. I don't blame them considering the list of things I want to do when sad consists of wallowing around in my self-pity. In this situation, cats aren't much different than humans. Number 10, unusual fear or aggression. 
Depression can change a cat's personality in several ways. A standard personality change is them becoming more fearful or aggressive. Drastic behavior changes like these are surefire signs of something being wrong with your cat. Number 11. Refusal to groom themselves. As any cat owner knows, felines take pride in their grooming. Cats who don't groom themselves don't feel well or are feeling unhappy about their current situation. You may need to give Kitty a hand here, especially if you have a long-haired cat. Matted fur will only make him more uncomfortable after all. Number 12. Needy Behavior Lonely cats may become clingy and demand more attention from their owners. They may follow you around the house or constantly seek physical contact. Number 13. Pacing and Restlessness Restlessness and pacing are common signs of anxiety and loneliness in cats. They may wander aimlessly around the house, unable to settle. Number 14. Scratching Furniture Cats have a natural instinct to scratch, but they may scratch furniture more frequently if they're feeling lonely. This behavior can be a way to mark their territory and relieve stress. Number 15. Excessive Licking of Humans Some lonely cats may excessively lick their owners. While this behavior can be a sign of affection, it can also indicate a need for more interaction and attention. Number 16. Loss of interest in toys. If your cat suddenly loses interest in their toys, it may be a sign of loneliness. Cats often use play as a way to simulate hunting and release pent-up energy. Number 17. Overclimbing. Cats experiencing anxiety or depression often seek out new spots to climb that help them feel more in control. This can lead to taking riskier trips into entertainment center wires or onto bookshelves and could lead to pricey and frustrating damage. What to do? Channel your cat's energy into areas that can handle their adventurous side. Create safe perches that only your cat can reach so they can feel like the ruler of the house or at least the room. These spots don't always have to be visible either. Your cat may appreciate a partially hidden, high up spot that can serve as their hidden refuge. Number 18, spraying or changes in bathroom habits. A sad cat may use their own scent to feel better by urinating in inappropriate places. There are many reasons for urinating outside of the litter box, but stress, depression, and sadness are high on this list. Your cat may urinate in high value areas such as lookouts, your bedroom, or places where the scent of a deceased pet or missing human lingers in order to spread their own scent. Also, if your cat soils outside of the litter box, this should raise a red flag. Number 19, tail flicking. When a cat is experiencing stress, anxiety, or frustration, it may exhibit rapid or agitated tail flicking as a way of expressing its emotional state. The tail is an essential part of a cat's communication system, and different tail movements convey various messages. Flicking the tail rapidly can indicate that a cat is agitated or uncomfortable. It's essential to pay attention to the context and other accompanying behaviors to understand the specific emotions the cat might be experiencing. Tail flicking may occur in response to changes in the environment, interactions with other animals or humans, or any situation that the cat finds stressful. Number 20. Scratch excessively. Cats may scratch excessively when they are feeling stressed or anxious. Changes in the environment, new pets, or disruptions to their routine contribute to these emotions. Scratching is a way for cats to mark their territory. If a cat feels the need to assert itself or mark its space more aggressively, it might scratch more than usual. It's important to rule out any potential medical issues that could be causing discomfort. Skin conditions, allergies, or pain can lead to increased scratching. Does my cat need a feline companion? If you've established that your cat is lonely, the next decision is how to go about fixing it. Not all cats will get along with other felines. All they might need is their favorite humans to come home from work for lunch or to play games more often. If you're away frequently, you could hire someone to spend the day with your cat in your stead. To know if your cat would appreciate a feline companion, you'll need to know if they're happy around other cats. If they're used to feline companionship, it stands to reason that they'll appreciate another cat friend.